Hätten die Verbrennung der Amerika. What is up, my sexy mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my first impressions and thoughts on Lacoste Blue and Lacoste Yellow. Now, technically, this isn't actually a first impressions video, simply because my microphone ran out halfway through filming my last review, and so I could only salvage about half of the audio. So I figured, stuff that, I'm just going to refilm the entire thing. So think of this as a first impressions slash review. It's not quite a first impressions, but not quite a proper full-fledged review. So let's just roll with that, all right? But before we talk about that, I am going to be mentioning my fragrance of the day. And what do you think of this camera angle, guys? Is this better than the other one? Let me know in the comments below because I'm trying to experiment a little with the overall look and feel of the videos. If you prefer the more straight ahead sort of look, let me know. Um, I'm always keen to sort of try new things when it comes to like the filming of the videos. So just let me know. And my fragrance of the day is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This is an iconic men's fragrance and a beautiful woman once told me that this smelled like a manly cupcake and I couldn't agree more. As far as uh, notes and accords, this is a heavily vanilla Ford's fragrance with an amber note and also a hint of incense smokiness. It's almost exactly how I imagine myself wanting to smell, like if I just saw myself randomly on the street I'd be like, I'd be like, this is what that bloke smells like. I love it. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance to me. On my skin, with my skin chemistry, it's about a 12 hour scent, which is incredible. And if you do spray this on your clothes, you're going to get more than 12 hours of longevity. I've got a t-shirt that I've washed a couple of times that still has traces of this on it. So it's a 48 hour scent if you've got the right skin chemistry or you use it on your clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to reapply just because this smells incredible. Straight away, you get that bold vanilla note. And come to think of it, this is almost a unisex fragrance in how that vanilla is presented. The note of vanilla, the note of amber, and incense can come across as very unisex, even feminine. So if you're a Sheila, they or them, doesn't matter, this may actually appeal to you. So if that sounds like a good fragrance to you, check this one out. It's about $60 Australian, and there's almost nothing as good in terms of value at that price point, but for about $20 more, give or take, you can get Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him, which is another similar exceptional fragrance. So as always, test the strips here. Let's go with yellow first. I'll just show you the packaging and presentation. And you'll notice that there's a slight texture to it as well, which is a nice touch. And here's the bottle. Small, yellow, still has all the fragrance in it. Atomizer is decent. Now, straight away, this fragrance reminds me of Jean Varvaros' Artisan. It's a more youthful, sweeter take on Artisan, at least to my nose. Now, Artisan is one of the most luxurious smelling fragrances on the market at under $100, at least here in Australia. You can even find this for as low as $40. I know catch.com.au has like a sale on John Varvato's fragrances at the moment. Check them out because you can get a bottle of this for about 40 bucks. It is luxurious, white floral, has some citrus notes. It's a little aromatic. And this shares a lot of those notes. It's very aromatic. It's citrus fords. And in all honesty, I know there's no yellow floral or white floral notes listed, but it does come across as having this almost orange blossom or neroli sort of feel to it. It's like that, it's that convergence between a floral note and a citrus note. It smells absolutely incredible and it also has like a touch of pepper, pink pepper, like a, a slight 
almost fresh spicy feel to it. But this is going to be a very versatile fragrance. You can pull this one off under the age of 25 or over the age of 25. It's got just enough sweetness to appeal to a younger man, whilst also having enough complexity and depth to appeal to a more mature aged man. It smells absolutely incredible. Really a big fan of this one. I think Lacoste L1212 Yellow smells very nice. And if you're in the market for something that smells similar to John Varvatos' Artisan, but a little sweeter and a little more youthful, then this is a great alternative, especially if you can find it for the $20 that I paid for it. So I would say check this one out. It's going to be quite versatile. Lacoste. L1212 Blue, powerful, also paid $20 for this. Exact same packaging as the other one, just with a couple of words, a couple of different words, and a blue aesthetic. And here we go. There's just something a little more obnoxious about this one to me. Gonna let some of that perfumer's alcohol dry off. Lacoste Blue is much more youthful in my opinion. Aromatic, citrus, but with a lot more sweetness to it. It's got like this sort of like fruit salad quality in the opening, like fresh fruit salad. It also reminds me of uh, a lolly we have here in Australia, or candy if you're American, uh, called Redskins. Now, I don't know if they're still called that, so forgive me if that isn't politically correct, but that was the name of the product. I don't know what they're called now, but it's sort of like this red candy, this red lolly. It's like a, it's like a, a stick and it's real chewy and it gets stuck in your teeth. It almost smells identical to red skins to me as well. So if you like the smell of red skins, you're going to love this, but this is much more youthful, much more young smelling than Lacoste yellow. If you're after sort of like an aromatic, sweet, citrusy, fruity fragrance, this is going to be a great option for you. It, it does have something about it that reminds me of like a much more youthful, uh, lesser quality Bleu de Chanel. It just has that sort of same sweet, almost peppery, I don't know, aromatic quality to it. It smells very nice. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone online make a comparison between this and Bleu de Chanel before. And I don't know why, because it does smell quite similar to it. But yeah, if you're over the age of 25, I would recommend Lacoste Yellow. If you're under the age of 25, I would recommend Lacoste Blue. Um, if I had to choose between, I've only tested the blue, the yellow and the red. I would go with the yellow just because it has that really uh, luxurious sort of floral note to it, that almost orange blossom neroli feel to it. And that just gives it like that touch of luxury. But Lacoste Blue isn't bad. It's just a little too overbearing in the sweetness department for me. It's gonna be great for a teenager. And I think that's who this fragrance is marketed towards, a younger man, a teenager. So if you've ever worn Lacoste Yellow or Lacoste Blue before, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.